Mr. Ibu doesn't have diabetes. Very dark man disposes Mr. Ibu's wife and her plans against Mr. Ibu. Breaking news. Hello guys, welcome back once again to this YouTube channel. You know, I always tell people that before you marry, make sure you clean your eyes to know the kind of woman you marry. That is why the Bible said that he that find it a good wife, find it a good thing. The other way around means he that find it an evil wife will die before his time. And that is basically the truth. Because they will not give you peace of mind. You know, people have been busy rallying around to provide support for Mr. Ibu and to ensure that Mr. Ibu, you know, does not go off from the surface of this particular earth. But his wife has been busy making all trances and creating controversy. Who wants a reasonable and a sensible woman who has emotional intelligence, you know, wouldn't even come out to find any form of controversy within this period other than praying and, you know, asking God to heal her husband. You know, uh, lately, very dark man actually exposed everything about this woman being uh, Miss Dibu's uh, so-called wife and equally, you know, exposed everything that she has been doing. I'm going to play the video so that you listen carefully to what the very dark man said and even reflect that Miss Dibu does not even have diabetes. Look at your execution the screen. This was the first, uh, this was what uh, Miss Dibu's wife was saying initially. She, she, she said that the millions donated for the treatment of her husband has been hijacked by a stranger. Actor John O'Carfer's wife cries out. Imagine a woman that your so that your husband is in a critical position. Now you, are, you, you, you want to create unnecessary attention and controversy. Well, I'm going to play the video so that everybody will listen to what this very dark man said because a lot of things are is actually happening within this uh, Mr. Bush case and everything. We will come back with we'll Tyson and analyze this, this entire issue. All this thing on Insta blog, and I've seen it on other blogs. Mr. Ebu wife said the millions that he contributed, it has been hijacked by somebody, by a stranger, referring to Jasmine. And on the other hand, you understand, she said they did not give her access to the money. First of all, you understand, I didn't want to say all these things, all the things I know about this whole thing, but I think it's time to just clear the public. You understand? First of all, me, I will say I, will, I pray to God that I will never marry somebody like that woman. First of all, now know me, I go straight and direct. Now, she's coming online to say she does not have access did she tell why the family they are said mr ibu himself does not trust her with money we are talking about a woman that when with when they started uh, contributing that money online when that money got to 40 million naira, do you know what that woman did that woman called and said uh, uh, that it's time for her to that they should buy her an iphone 15. your husband did for sick bed they try to make decision whether in let go whether in here especially where pick buy you say they don't buy you iPhone 15. The woman did not even stop there. She said eh, she's still a young lady that they should give her some money out of the money so that she can go and take care of herself. That she needs to brush up her body. That she wants to go and do nyash. Everybody was like, wait, madam. Your husband, they see pay. See what you, they use your mouth, they talk. Cause the long story short. This woman, they gave her some money. They gave her one million dollar for upkeep for her child. You understand? She and her children. She removed the certain money, go buy all this pad, all this fake nyash. They wear and come hospital. She did not tell the public that one. Secondly, a man came to the hospital to come and see Mr. Ibu. When the man got to the hospital, he was trying to meet Mr. Ibu. The woman refused the man. You understand that? No, no, no. He does not want to see anybody. At the end of the day, she finally let the man. When the man went in, saw Mr. Ibu, you understand? He now wanted to transfer money to the accounts that people were contributing in. Mr. Ibu wife said that Access Bank account was not working, that they should transfer it to her account. That was how that man transferred that money to her account. God so kind. The man now transferred the receipts to Jasmine. When transferred the receipt to Jasmine, Jasmine I even sent it to me that ah, look at what Mr. Ibu's wife is doing. Do you understand? Now, when they sent it, the man was done. They now told the man that ah, that I shouldn't have sent it. The man said, Does he want them to collect the money back from Mr. Ibu's wife? But in order for people not to say one or two things, let it not be as if the family are not together. Jasmine told the man that the man should not worry. You understand? Now, know me and evidence. Everything while talking, say, if I finish, let the woman say a lie. The municipal's wife is coming online now to talk about money. Did she talk about the cars that she sold? Did she talk about when she told Mr. Ibu that they should sell their house in Aja? That they should sell it for 44 million and that she will not receive anything less than 25 million out of 44 million? Did she talk about how Mr. Ibu left their mansion and went to Ibadan and be staying with somebody inside the one room? You know what it means say your husband leave you for house? If they fear you, you wrong, go stay with person. When wife get the left side one room, they sleep on top chair. I'm not talking about any other person, I'm talking about Mr. Ibu. Did she talk about all these parts? Even in that hospital, did she talk about how Mr. Ibu did not want to see her? Mr. Ibu said he does not want her to come close to him. Did she talk about all these parts? She came online, she was talking, blah, blah, blah. I see a lot of comments, I just had to the laugh. Now, when they wanted to, the surgery that he did for Mr. Ibu, that they made them cut the man's leg, when they were thinking about that surgery, they wanted to do another surgery for blood uh, testing, whatever thing. They needed somebody from the family to sign. 
Mr. Ebo's wife refused to sign because she said, because the doctor told them that it was a 50 50 deal. She refused to sign and then she said that, uh, that, ah, that she does not want to sign though because if anything happened, the whole are responsible. Instead, she was looking for Jasmine to come and sign. Do you understand? This same money that she's talking about Jasmine to come and sign. Do you understand? This same money that she's talking about that Jasmine is in charge of the money. Jasmine does not have one error in charge of that money. It's Mr. Ebo's son that is in charge of the money. Mr. Ebo's second son that is in charge of that money. They went to the police station. Mr. Ebo told the DPO of the police station in Lagos, Aja area, that he wants his son to be the one to handle that money. Anything sending money and receiving money. Do you understand? That money got to a hundred million. But now, how much remain for the money? Money where they sit, the man see the hospital like this. They see they try no one or two things because the, the, the poison of the infection that entered that man's body, I won't say poison. If I say poison, we'll be asking the Nakam jazz. The infection that entered this man's body up to now, they are still looking for a way to get everything out to stabilize him. The leg that went out alone is not even part of it. That one has secondary case. There's still another problem inside. They are saying the man get diabetes, the man said no get diabetes. He doesn't have the habits. I don't forget to call him in their this thing. Now, all these things I'm saying, there are a lot of proof. How about her brother that told Jasmine when that money got to 40 million that Jasmine and him and Mr. Ebu wife should share the money four ways? Did she talk about all this one? Mr. Ebu wife, you better come out this on a matter online. You understand? Secondly, one thing I just want to say is um, we contributed that money. I brought my own platform out to talk about that money and make people contribute because my Mr. Ibu name did here. They don't contribute money for your family members. They contribute money because they once made a legend stand up. It is not for you. It is not for your upkeep. Your husband, this sick baby, say me they will buy you moto. Your husband, this sick baby, say me they will buy you moto. Your husband, this sick baby, say you won't do nyash. Your husband, this sick baby, say me they buy you iPhone 15. That's where we say your husband, this sick bed. Tell them why Mr. Ibu no wants you for two years. Why talk now? No talk. When did they run from house? Like I said, may God not let me marry a woman like you. You understand? Come and talk online. If you talk online, I mean, I'll just have to repost the evidence. You know, say me, I'm not waste time. You understand? If you people know how Mr. Ibu leg reach like that, you'll go cry. If I, if I post that video here now and I see that video, you'll go cry. So, Madam Mr. Ibu, go take care of your husband. First of all, go make peace with your husband. Maybe you and your husband, they can for one place. Before I start to talk about material things and money, how much with the money? How much with the money? No, not share money. As they don't share money, give you come online to say this and that one. They are talking about the, the well being of your husband. You come online, come and talk about money. Go and sit down, one please. Else, you're going to learn. And you're going to learn in the hard way. Don't play. Don't play. Now, from the video you just listened to, you could see the full explanation that this very dark man said that Mr. Ibu does not even have diabetes. That Mr. Ibu's wife, look at what is she, she, she used the money that was given to her to go and buy uh, artificial nyash as if that was not enough for her. She equally went and she was demanding for a car. You know, when you marry such kind of wife that when she sees money, she, she, she wants to live the, the, the highest form of luxury, as if this is the period to live a luxurious life, as if this is the period to live a luxurious life. You know, for Mr. Ibu not to hand over the, his monetary affairs to his wife, being this woman, speaks a lot. He speaks volume about the kind of person. You know, every man should have entrusted most of his wealth to his wife because your wife is seen as your best friend and someone you can confide in. But for Mr. Ibu, all through his life, not to trust his wife means something is actually wrong with that woman. That she has, she probably she doesn't know how to handle money. She doesn't know how to take care of the family. Or probably the same problem that when she sees money, she will just squander the money and use it and use it use it extravagantly. You could hear every single thing that this very dark man said. That even there was a money that was transferred to her. They are not even sure that whether she has even brought or remitted that money to the general account where uh, the donations from Mr. Ibu have been made. You could see how dark and how even minded some people are. Now she wants to con create controversy trying to accuse Jasmine. For, for Mr. Ibu to still keep that Jasmine, despite that she's not her daughter, means it, 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 not her, his daughter, means that she trusts that Jasmine more than his own wife. And it goes a long way to tell you the kind of person Mr. Ibu's wife is. I can boldly tell you this for free. You could listen to every single thing that this very dark man said. It is quite shameful and quite shocking. Well, like I said, I'll keep on updating you guys who are concerned with this mystery case because I think it is getting out of, and honestly speaking, well, I like you guys to drop your comments in the comment section.